Welcome to today's channel, today's teaching. In this teaching, I'm going to walk you through on how to insert charts in Microsoft Word mobile app. Okay. Um, the truth, the truth is, the way some features that are available on Microsoft Word desktop app may be lacking. Microsoft Word mobile app at the moment. Though I know that Microsoft has a lot of the loopers and are working on this to make everything better. Okay? But for you to insert any chart in Microsoft Word mobile app, there are steps you have to take. First, you have to create the chart in a cell mobile app. After creating the chart in a cell mobile app, then you copy the chart. And paste it in your Microsoft Word document as a mobile version. These are the steps. So, the first thing is for us to create the chart in Excel. So, let me get to my Excel mobile app. This is my Excel mobile app under Microsoft as category and my phone screen. Okay, tap on it to so open. Then I want to use a new blank document, blank um, spreadsheet file, sorry, blank spreadsheet to create this. So I'll top, tap on the plus icon, select blank workbook, okay? First is for you to insert the data you want to use for this chart. So what sample am I going to use here, okay? Let me assume that there are some classes, there's a school in the location made up of both males and females. So, we want to plot the number of males against the number of females in different classes. Alright? So, that is what we are going to use to create this. Okay. Double click on the first cell. And I'll give you the title class, the heading class, the second cells, then um, number of males. Okay, let's just say males. Okay, let's say males. Let's see females. These are just my headings I'm creating. Okay, so. Okay, let's see. Classes. Classes. Yes. Okay. So let me make them both because they are my headers. Okay. Both. 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 These are my major headings. Okay. Then let me start listing the classes. Double click. Class A, Class A, Class B, Class C, Class D, Class E. Okay, these are the number of classes I'll be working with. Then the number of males in class A, let me say 10. Number of females, 15. Then in class B, number of males, 15. Number of females, 20. Class C, number of males, 5. Number of males in class B, 10. No, females are always higher in number. Okay, with that assumption, that's why I'm creating this like this. Okay, class D. Okay, let's go with 20 males. No students. Class D females. Okay, let's see the upper taxi. Class E. 17. Class D. 
Okay, let's give them lesser number here, females. Okay, as we can see, this is my information. I want to use the plotting of this graph or chart. Then I have to tap on the first cell. Hmm? It has been selected now. Then I will drag towards the right, then down for the entire data to be selected. That's what I'm doing now. Then down until I get to the end of my data. My data. As you can see, I've selected all the cells with information. Then I will tap on my ribbon display option so that I can see commands and tabs. So that's this arrow pointed up by the right. Tap on it. Then the insert. This is chart we want to create. So we are going to find chart command under the insert tab. So we hit on the home tab, then select insert. Scroll down until we get to chart. Okay, this is chart command. Tap on it. What kind of chart do we use here? Okay, let's go with bar charts. Is it okay? Or column? No, this kind of chart is better in column chart. So let's go with column chart or bar chart, anyone. But let's work with column so that I can have some vertical bars. Okay? Alright, let's choose a sample here. Okay, let's work with this. Okay, let's work with the first category or the second or the third. Okay, let's work with the first category. As you can see, this chart is now inserted in our Excel. And I'm not having a clear view of it, so I need to minimize. Okay. Tap outside the box. Then minimize. So I can see everything. You can see now the chart I have. I can choose to drag it for it to be bigger in size. Uh, don't go too fast. Okay. This is the chart. So I need to copy this chart and paste it. In my word, I can give it okay. I can give it a title by hitting here the title section. Uh, see statistics of students. Okay. Number of I have to wipe this. Where is it? Number. And this is students by gender okay okay that's uh, we have done it then I need to copy this my chart and for me to do that just tap on the chart so that everything will be selected tap as I tap it now you can see that I have some command the first is the cut command copy command paste command delete command edit this my interest is to copy this so that i can paste it in my word document so i copy then hit the home button of my smartphone since i tap on the home button i'll look for the word app microsoft word app it's under my my app here microsoft word apps my microsoft apps are grouped in this my phone so i tap on microsoft apps category then select word okay i may choose to create a blank document i have this um copy tax pasted inside of it so let me just go which one i have already created before then i scroll down so i will tap on this edit then tap on the spot where I want to paste this chart I copied from Excel. Okay? Press and hold on that spot. As you can see, I have so many options called copy and paste. What I want to do here is paste. So tap on the paste icon. As you can see, I now have my graph 
in the Microsoft Word. It's as simple as that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do well to subscribe to my channel. Like and comment. Thank you.